We all know about division, don't we? Now, look carefully. Sima has two apples of the same size with her. She wants to divide the apples to her two sons, Pawan and Prabin. How can she do that? Yes, she can give any of the two apples to Pawan and the remaining one to Prabin. And it is a fair division, isn't it? Now look here carefully. If Seema has only one apple with her, how can she divide the apple between Pawan and Prabin equally? Do you know how? Yes, the apple must be cut exactly into two equal parts, isn't it? So, here we have the two divisions or two equal parts of an apple. Each of these two parts is of the same size. Here, each of these parts is called one half of an apple. We can give any of these halves of the apple to Pawan and the remaining one to Prabin. Now look here carefully. How many parts of the apple do we have here? Yes, here we divided this apple into two equal parts. So here the total part of the apple is two. And then one of the parts was given to Pawan and the other part was given to Pravin. So we can say that Pawan gets one part out of the two equal parts of the apple. And Pravin also gets one part out of the two equal parts of the apple. We can represent one part out of two equal parts or one out of two in terms of number as one upon two in mathematics. So, when we put one upon two part and one upon two part of an apple together, we get a whole part. This whole part is also represented by the number one. So, the sum of two halves is always equal to one. Here, in one upon two, the number one above the bar or line refers to the part of the apple that Pawan or Prabin gets. And the number two below the bar or line refers to the total number of parts of a whole apple. So, we can represent a certain part of an object out of the total parts in terms of number in mathematics. Midas E-Class Audiovisual Lations for Nursery to Grade 10